Hey, good day there. This is Joe Van Cleve. Today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about video and video production and specifically some of the issues and concerns I've been experiencing with my own video productions and maybe some of what I've learned might help you. Now as background, I want to mention that my main video editing platform is an old iPad 2 tablet and I'm using the iMovie software which is a uh, stripped down version of the uh, iMovie software for the Mac platforms. So the iOS version is not as capable of uh, all the features that the Mac version is but I found it sufficient so far for what I do. The main limitation I found with this platform is the fact that my tablet is only a 16 gigabyte memory capacity and actually uh, with the current software I have installed on it I have about nine and a half gigs of usable memory. So the challenge has been um, in managing my memory usage. So I haven't had too many problems in um, sub 15 minute YouTube videos when I was using my older Lumix G5 camera. But when I went to this newer Lumix GH3 it has a higher bitrate codec and it the files are larger in size and <clears throat> I have I've been having problems this week uh, with some of the videos in fact the one I I did today about episode 27 of the typewriter series um, I had to end up rendering it at 720p because I just ran out of room on my iPad after the edit and so what I discovered was that I had inadvertently set the GH3 camera to 60 frames per second MOV mode and in that mode a minute of video is about 360 meg uh, megabytes. Um, so I did some test uh, recordings this afternoon with both my the Lumix Panasonic GH3 and the Fuji X10 which is my other alternative video camera and I'm going to present to you the results I found uh, from that test. So I did a series of short video tests today. These were clips. Each one was a minute long. I did a test clip with the Fuji X10 camera which shoots um, 1080p 30 frames a second in the MOV format. And then I shot um, three one-minute clips in the Panasonic camera with three different settings and let me show you my results. Um, so first of all the Fuji camera it's uh, 1080p 30 frames a second dot MOV a minute of video was about 104 megabytes of memory okay. The Panasonic Lumix GH3 in 1080p 60 frames a second MOV mode, it's shooting 360 uh, megabytes a minute, which is over three times as much um, as the Fuji. In 1080p 30 MOV, which in theory is the same uh, setting as the Fuji, it's almost twice as much uh, memory capacity as the Fuji. And the reason why is because of the higher bit rate of the Panasonic camera. It just has more data in those bits and those bytes. Finally, I did a 1080p 30 frames a second in the MP4 format for the uh, Lumix, and it was 140 megabytes, only about 40% more than the uh, Fuji. So what did all this testing show me? Well, it showed me, first of all, that one of the reasons why I was having problems with my memory uh, in my iPad when I was doing these video productions is because I had inadvertently left my Panasonic camera on this 60 frames a second uh, MOV mode and I was using up gobs of memory. Um, the other thing it showed me was I did a, a visual comparison between the MOV um, 30 frames a second Fuji Fuji clip and the 30 frames a second MP4 clip shot on the Panasonic. I, I viewed them on a 28 inch uh, high resolution computer monitor at full screen size and the Panasonic definitely has the better video quality at that format. So even though the Panasonic is shooting MP4 in this format it's much better than the MOV format of the Fuji at the same shutter speed and 1080p setting. And it's only 40% more uh, memory uh, capacity, memory size that it's using. So 
the thing I learned from this, this, these problems I've been having and the subsequent testing I had to do, the thing I learned is there's more to video than just your frame size, 1080p versus 720, and the uh, file format whether MP4 or MOV. There's more to it than that. It's really about the bit rate, how big those words are, how much data is being transferred. That's what makes the files big. One of the consequences that I had from episode 27 of the typewriter video series that I, up I uploaded today, which was about uh, clipboards, one of the consequences I had was that I had to render that video at 720p in order to fit it on the remaining memory of my iPad. And so it wasn't quite as maybe sharp or crisp or whatever it is it should have been. The other problem I had when I was shooting the footage is I was out here in the garage, my garage base studio, my workshop, and it was hot out here today. And I had the little fan running off to the side, and, and even though I'm using a directional microphone, it was picking up the sound of the fan, so there's just a lot of background noise. And then the fan was kind of blowing my little backdrop a little bit. So there was it was kind of a sloppily produced video, and I apologize for that. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the lessons that I am just slowly learning as I continue in this um, exciting, wonderful, fun thing about producing uh, YouTube videos. So one of the uh, lessons from uh, this little um, learning experience of mine that you should take to heart is when you are concerned and limited by memory capacity with your video equipment, you don't want to shoot at the higher frame rates all the time unless you really need that footage for, for instance, doing slow motion kind of work because a 60 frame per second video is going to take up twice as much room on your device as a 30 frame per second, okay? So shoot at the slowest shutter speed that you can get away with, that you really need, okay? Um, the other uh, lesson is the uh, type of file format you're shooting, whether it's uh, .mov or .mp4. It does make a difference in the size of the file, and you may not necessarily see much of a difference to the finished video once it's been posted to YouTube, because a lot of times those differences are really subtle in uh, online internet kind of video quality. And the third thing, of course, is the hardware differences between different cameras. As I said earlier, this Panasonic GH3 has a higher bit rate codec, so at the same MOV 1080p 30 setting as the Fuji, it just has a bigger file size, over twice as big. Well, this is Joe Van Cleve, and I hope this has been informative and educational for you to help you sort out your video troubles. Until next time, you take it easy. Have a great day.